everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and Nip. And in today's video, if YouTube hasn't taken the title down that Liv has decided on, we're going to be stripping with the wife. Stand into the camera. <laughs> and no, this is not on OnlyFans. When I mean stripping, we got to strip these pits. It's not weather for stripping clothes off, I can tell you that. We have to tidy up the pits. So we're tidy up the maze pit and we have to tidy up the big silage pit. And then we have more jobs to do as well. So we have about two hours till dark. So we're gonna try and get as much as we can done. This video is more or less trying to catch up on all the jobs that kinda got forgot about while we were away. As we, basically the whole month of November was raw half between the wedding, the honeymoon and getting back and then getting caught up in some of the higher work as we had quite a lot of rolling to do when we got back. So we're back now and it's time to start catching up on a month's missed work. So we're going to start off by the maze pit, we have to straighten it out, take off the one cover to fold it up, put away. Bertie, you're trying to hog the camera there aren't you? So as you can see the maze pit, it's a bit of a mess and we are kind of going through it quicker than I was expecting. I think they increased the amount we're giving them up 50 kilos a, a diet feeder so that's that's an extra 100 and no it's like an extra 200 kilos going out a day so we just have to pull it back we have to cut away the light polythene and then the top cover so there's two of these green covers one went to the back to more than halfway and the other one was in the front to the front so we should be able to take off one green cover line of sandbags is where it ends so there should be a, enough of an overlap and just straighten it all up get the sandbags right and just get it all nice and tidy for whatever reason they just kept rolling both plastic together and what's happened is the green sheet doesn't hold water water will run through it but this sheet does and that's full of water and it pulled the sheet down so we'll stick the camera in time lapse we we'll get this tidied we we'll get the first base stripping done So that is the pit tidied. So I have to separate the cling film from the black plastic because I'm not just over sure whether that can go with the black plastic. But for as messy as the pit was, it's keeping perfect. Oxygen barrier, some job. I'm surprised, I was honestly, when a pit gets messy like that, it normally doesn't keep that well on top under it, but perfect. So um, we have maybe a bit too much, I might have been a bit too ambitious taking a bit much off it now. That should do about a week, 10 days, maybe a fortnight-ish. Further we go back, the deeper the grab. That's the first base stripping done. Now on to the big pit, because Father Phil has been tossing and turning that there, which is a bit of a nuisance, but um, I get the shape for now with the forks, and we'll go shift the tires off it, and then we'll start cutting back the plastic. One of the big advantages with the Schaefer, especially when stripping the pit, is you're up higher and you can actually see what you're doing trying to take off tires. With the teleport, because you're so much lower, you're just putting the forks in and fishing, seeing what you can get. That's one of the good, that's one of the things I really like about the Schaefer. The visibility and the height. Great for working on heights. So it is. Sandbags are easier, aren't they? Yeah, to here, yeah. Ah, yeah, to where the knife is, yeah. So, we are on top of the silage pit. We're going to square this off, going that way. We're using far more silage than we are whole crop. So we don't need to strip too much off the whole crop end. We need to strip a lot off this just to try and get a week. We like to have it that you do it once a week. But we are flying through the silage. <laughs> As you can see, we're getting through the pit very quickly. So I think 
we're going to start off the Waylands in the shed start getting all these bales of silage home and start giving them a lock of them just to slow down the movement in the pit because you can see where last year's silage this is last year's silage here where the high mound is because we had a lot more silage last year but the boys they're out there grazing away it's a little bit mucky but it's not too bad they're managing it but yeah it's just lots lots of silage is walking out of the pit at the minute anyways we get this all straightened out Tires are moved now. Not exactly a great knife for the job, but it just happens to be the nearest knife to me on the farm. It's not like we have a shortage of knives either. It's just the nearest one to me. So that's the pitch stripped. So hopefully this lasts about a week. You can see. No, it's not too bad. I did think it'd be worse to have kept the strip while we were away. This just needed to be done now. But the problem is when silage runs out instead of stripping it, they like to push the silage forward and it, it crosses this. You can see where that lump come and then around it started to go bad. Same where the next one is. Never ideal doing that. But, my other big downsides, our edges are shocking. Not great at all. So the stuff on top of this, we kind of tease as much as we can off before we put it in to the wainlands. We don't give any of it to finishing cattle. We tease as much as we can off. Wainlands, yeah, whatever they want over, dump it. Next year, we're going to use the oxygen barrier on the pit. Just ox oxygen barrier and then traditional black sheet and tires I see how that works out um, it should do the job as we know another farmer who does it and gets on the finest with it so hopefully it gets rid of some of especially along the walls but it's not even a wall it's a mound and whenever I get the chance in the future there'll be mass concrete walls going around that pit because I hate them mounds anyways that's the stripping done Liv how do you feel after stripping? warm, warm. <laughs> So, what's next on the list? We're going to take the first call off the gutters. Admire Bertie. Huh? Admire Bertie. Admire Bertie. He's like on Lion King where he's on the top of the stone, isn't it? Hey Bertie. It's the circle of life, isn't it? Hi though. We're going to take the first call off the gutters. So, about to take the first cut out of the gutters. So I'm just pegging it out on the ground, so I'm going to scrape down all the yard once I get all this done. Job that I don't think it's been done in a while. There's quite a lot of dirt around the yard, so give it a yard scrape and done. Yeah, take the first guy to go here. And I am in our mine cage, the shear bucket. cut off that gutter so while I have live in the mood we'll go around and do two more gutters that might have a bit of stuff in them they might not we'll go check them out anyways there's nothing showing but while we're at it we'll keep at it and this gutter is clean don't know how well you got to see that Did they come across there no you can't really see them I don't think but well, the bloody starlings are giving us awful issue. You're not supposed to be there. Little nuisance. So we're just going to set the banger up in the castle and it gets an awful boom, echo. They really are dirty, dirty yucks. Did you see the way they scatter the food out? And then they just shit on everything. So we need to do something about them. So we're going to set up the banger out here and it'll go off every half, 15 minutes, half an hour. I just got to try and get rid of the starlings. And someone did comment when 
I think Liv said about the starlings in Liv's video uh, about guinea fowl and I went out and I bought just a few guinea fowl you can see all the guinea fowl right behind there so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine guinea fowl there I bought 18 guinea fowl <coughs> yeah 18 I went a bit all out they're all pearl guinea fowl which are lovely colors real vivid colors so there and there's a white guinea there and then the other ones are in the buyer and they're a kind of a mix there's lavender there's white and then there's a cross between all of them she always packs your feet. i know <laughs> i don't know what's on it there's not a lot on it so not much into this now huh? The starlings have just disappeared. Happy days. So, just while we're passing them, we said we'd give you an update on the calves. What people are saying about the pipe that was at the back there, that had no water going through it, and I tied it up, shoved it back. And that pipe that was there was when we had the pigs drinker, it was up there, and that's just a pipe that's looped across the things. So, there's no water going through that. The drinker's in the back corner there. We'll have a chain with them, so they have a bit of uh, entertainment. And the reason the two at the back aren't wearing jackets is because we can't keep the jackets on them. Literally, that's the only reason they're not having have jackets on, so they just go to town trying to get them off. But they're doing all right, aren't they, Liv? Yeah. Not a loss on them. Yeah, yeah, happy out. Happy out. He's a friendly ass. Hmm. Yeah. So, the next job on the list, well, this is why Liv's jobs, it, well, when I say Liv's jobs, the job Liv wants done, is this is our old horse stables where my sisters had horses, and Liv wants to... <clears throat> put back into use and um, put the goats in there for the winter whether it's going to help them or not some people said putting them in for the winter wasn't a great idea but the ground is quite wet where they are and the feet are just being a bit and it's cold the feet are a bit of an issue so if we put them in there and put them in a good bit of lime and maybe give them a foot bath or something every now and again maybe that might help but the problem is the horse stables has been used to basically put rubbish in so we have to empty it out now and put it in another pile of rubbish that goes away to the ladies but anyways it's mostly just meal bags and cardboard spray boxes so we get stuck into it so we have the stables cleaned out now just live going power wash it tomorrow she's gone off she's going out tonight calves we're just after feeding them there and i was planning on scrapping the yards but i'm just kind of out of time for those of you asking about home Colleen, He's in hospital at the minute. Uh, he kind of goes in and out every so many weeks, just this complication, that thing, and then one another. I'm going up to him this evening to drop in a lock of chocolates to him, see how he is in that. So that's kind of run out of time, so I have to go do that. But yeah, that's how he's doing. Um, yeah, there's not much more you can really say about that. It's, it is a dirty, dirty, dirty dose. Um, so yeah. Last job of the day now is going to be bed the cattle, so upon the forks, we'll go get some straw out of the shed. Where do you the forks? Left them somewhere. There they are. Egg upon the forks, get some straw out, bed the cattle, that's it. I scrapped the yards tomorrow morning. That was the last job I was going to do, but it, they do need bad, they want to be scrapped. And so, yeah, I get the forks or the yard scrap around tomorrow, we'll give everyone a run down, push into before I go. We'll go get some straw out of the shed. And that is it, all done. All bedded, all pushed in. Just turn off the lights now, that's it for today. But before we finish today's video, a package has arrived. The bits for the bee harvester have arrived. New belts, new cables, new rollers, new springs, new sly guide yokies, two more there. But we're missing two bits, we're missing two levers from it and it'll probably be monday next week before we get them. may get them before that but it's 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 not just i was hoping today's video would have been bee harvester running ready for the field that's not gonna happen but that's just how it is we can't always have it the way we plan it as much as i like to push and push and push to try and get all i can done 
not going to didn't get this one done in the time frame I had hoped but hopefully by Tuesday's video or Thursday's video next week the bee harvester should be fixed and running and hopefully on its way to a field but I will do a YouTube short tomorrow so that'll be Friday of how the current state of the bee harvester now that it's fully ripped apart have every bit of it taken apart so you can keep an eye out for that but um, anyways we're going to leave it at that for today's video hope you enjoyed it hope you liked the clickbait thumb title if YouTube hasn't said I can't use it which the if you didn't get to see what the working title was it was stripping with the wife that was the plan but um, we did we got the pit stripped we have a bit straightening out done there's lots more there's always lots more straightening out to be done but that's just part and parcel of this place the work is never finished and never seemed to get on top of it but maybe one day we will Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.